Hi, this is Corey McCarthy, and welcome to a new episode of Fit, Formidable, and Fantastic. That's right. Go after yourself. Last week, I had discussed my uh, pre-workout nutrition. Now, this week, I was planning to go into my intra-workout nutrition, but I've decided for the sake of time and also because of no matter how integral intra-workout is, it's too small to really dedicate to one episode, so I figure I'll lump it in with my post-workout episode and give you guys an extra big treat this week. So starting with my intra-workout nutrition, basically what I try to do is give a little bit of a taste, a little bit of a push to what I already have tried to achieve in my uh, pre-workout nutrition. And that's basically to facilitate the pump, keep pushing strength, and um, and really that's that's about that, and also help recovery in advance. Uh, so what I what I do is I take 16 ounces of water with a pinch of salt, and salt, as you may or may not know, is a vasodilator, which means that it will expand your uh, blood vessels and and give you a pump, it will help with the pump. Uh, um, but beyond that, also um, I also add five grams of creatine. Uh, about three grams of citrulline malate, which also is a pumping agent, and five grams of glutamine, which is a recovery agent. Now, if I'm bulking, I might add about five to ten grams of branched chain amino acids and some fast carbs like dextrose. Now, in the that's that's the that's the intro workout window. Now, in the post workout window, uh, sorry, one more thing. The intro workout I sip throughout my workouts. In other words, I'll do a set and then I'll have a sip while I'm resting. And I, I don't chug, I sip. Um, now, with my post-workout shake, what I do is within 5 to 10 minutes of putting down the final weight, however long it takes me to head at, into the washroom, wash my hands, freshen up a bit, and get ready to go, I will consume a shake of 16 ounces of water that contains a pinch of salt, two scoops of protein powder. Now, in, if you're not a vegan, you can use things like whey or whatever. Uh, in my case, I choose to go with a blend of 70% pea protein with 30% rice protein. It's a custom blend I get made at truenutrition.com, um, which has been shown, actually, that, that particular blend has been shown to be just as effective as whey. In fact, it has more arginine content than whey, which means more pump. So it's actually a little better than whey. Um, on top of this, I will add uh, 5 grams of uh, creatine. I'll add between 5 and 10 grams of glutamine. I'll add 5 to 10 grams of uh, branching amino acids, uh, an additional 5 grams of leucine, um, and also 2 to 3 grams of beta alanine, which uh, has been shown um, to help in uptake the, uh, um, the creatine a little better. Um, now, if I'm bulking, I will add um, fast carbs as well in the form of dextrose because Unlike uh, table sugar, which has fructose as well, dextrose is better at spiking insulin. It gets right into the bloodstream really quickly. Now, the amount you should use is equal to um, one quarter of a gram multiplied by your body weight in pounds. So uh, for me, that usually is somewhere between 40 and 50 uh, grams of dextrose. I don't have uh, the calculator in front of me. Um, but that that's what I, I, I take. Um, and... Uh, and that's, oh, by the way, lean body mass. You don't want to, um, there's no point in uh, calculating for your fat mass um, post-workout window. Um, beyond that, um, I will uh, take uh, some digestive enzymes. There's a plant-based digestive enzyme uh, known as aminogen. And that's been shown to actually increase the amount of, of uh, nitrogen retention and the amount of uh, protein that's absorbed by your body. Um, from the shake, uh, something it, it's uh, the number was something like sixty or seventy percent increase in in a uh, in uptake. So that's actually pretty significant. What I do is I take one serving of aminogen. Um, again, this is vegan. You can find it. it's plant based. Um, one serving of aminogen per scoop of whey or per twenty five grams of uh, of pea rice protein in my case. So that's what I do. Um, uh, beyond that, I think that's really about it. Um, there's nothing else I really do that I can think of the top of my head in that particular window. Uh, after I, then I travel home. I usually, uh, in the evenings is when I train. So I'll travel home and within 45 to 90 minutes, I have a, um, a whole foods meal. And then a couple hours later, I'm usually in bed for the night. So 
uh, that's how I handle my post-workout nutrition. Um, that just sets you up whether you're vegan or not vegan um, or, you know, whatever you are. Uh, and uh, if you have any questions, feel free to hit me up below in the comments. Um, I might have forgotten something. I may not have elaborated very well. I'm very tired right now. I just got home from the gym, in fact, um, the very intense workout. And uh, until then, I will see you next week. So stay fit, stay formidable, and stay freaking fantastic. See you later.